Okay, in this picture we're going to change the whole picture to black and white. But then we're going to bring the color back to the flames. And so it's going to look very, very, very cool. It's, it's a very nice effect. You see it all the time. Um, this is, and it's very easy to do. The first thing we need to do is add an adjustment layer, a hue and saturation adjustment layer to be specific. So I'm going to go ahead and click that on there. And I'm going to move this dialog box, which just popped up. I'm going to move this over here, and I'm going to zoom in here. And you're going to be taking the saturation, which is right in the middle. And we're going to be dragging it all the way to the left, all the way to negative 100. And as you can see, that's sapping all the color from the, the photo. So it's a black and white color now. So great, right? We're halfway there. Now all we need to do is bring color back to the flames. And to do that is very, very, very easy. As you can see, I'm clicking on the layer mask. Make sure that's selected. And then I'm coming over and I'm taking my paintbrush, clicking that, and I'm making sure the color is black. And I'm just going to paint over the flames. Now, making sure you have the right brush size is important. So for some of these smaller areas, you're going to need to make the brush smaller. It's very easy to do. The easiest way is just to right click and a little box will pop up and you can change the master diameter to small to make it smaller. Um, also, zooming in is very important so you can get those, uh, those hard to reach places. Make sure you really, really get it pretty good. Uh, and as you can see here, I'm going to zoom in and there's going to be some tips here on how to zoom in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to speed up the film and work a little bit. So here's the final product. It looks okay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you have questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.